Hi everyone, I just wanted to offer a few comments as we wrap up project one. Uh, I saw a lot of people doing this in the lab today, uh, where they have their uh, three sound recordings just stacked on top of each other like this. That's not really the intent of this. I mean, it's okay to overlap uh, pro uh, the sound files, but uh, really I'm looking more for something uh, where you would, like this, where you would present them uh, kind of sequentially, one right after another. Think of this kind of like a scene one, scene two, scene three, uh, just presenting a little bit of each uh, audio. So and it's a good basic arrangement for things. If you want to try something a little more adventurous, go ahead, but this is uh, kind of the minimum that I'm looking for. Uh, when you get ready to finish up, uh, you want to go to the file menu and hit the render option. Uh, that's where you're going to find all the settings that you need in order to, to, to export out these uh, two file formats that are needed for the work in progress demo. Um, take a look at the end time. Uh, if you notice that this uh, time on the render is a lot longer than where the end of your audio that you're, you're listening to for your project is, it could be that you were doing some editing and maybe moved a file over here to the right uh, just to kind of hold as a placeholder. Um, what's happening is that Reaper is now trying to render all the way to the end of this file now. So if you just click on it and delete it, uh, it should reset back to the um, the end of the, the last file. Basically, that's what it's going to render when it, uh, uh, it, it exports the audio file. Uh, so go back to the render process. Um, and you notice now that, that you, after you set the file name here, um, you go ahead and give it a name that's uh, descriptive as far as what you want to call your project. Um, you know, something like your last name and WIP. Um, draft is is good um and you'll see that uh, below that you can have the 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 folder that's going to go to as well as the sample rate we're going to talk about sample rate in a few days but uh, for now either 44 100 or 48 thousand are, are are good sample rates for you to use on this project so um and then uh, down here at the bottom you'll see that there's two different uh, options for the file formats. So you can actually uh, export both of them at the same time. The first one being uncompressed, the WAV format at 16 PCM, and the second one being s the, 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 the compressed format, or MP3, is found here in the menu. And you want to look for this uh, VBR, variable bitrate. Uh, that's the setting that we want to use. Uh, once you get those both inputted, you can go ahead and uh, you know check your name, check the time one more time, uh, make sure that it looks uh, good up here and hit click the render button here. You'll see a little animation on the screen that just tells you that it, what it's rendering out. Um, and if you close everything up and go back to your project folder, you should now see those two files that you need, both the .mp3 file and the .wav file that you want to upload it to Canvas uh, for handing things in. Uh, but that's it as far as the uh, uh, wrap up for project one. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions.